Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In today's video we're going to be a nice and basic one and also quite quick. And that's going to be how to create a basic backrooms screen effect as you can see on screen here. So this is default, this is normal and this is what we're going to be going over created today. Again quite simple but something which I think will be quite useful for a lot of people. Now this might look a little bit weird and that is mainly just because of the lighting because this level here is just something I threw together very very quickly so as you can see this is all it is so I threw it together very quickly and I think the problem with it is just the lighting because again I've not spent a lot of time creating it as you can see here. If I were to go into the, just the default level what we can see is something which looks a little bit different I think it shows off a little bit better so I'm going to show you that as well just to again show you what we're creating today before I actually go and create it. So again this is what we can see here the lighting is different so you can kind of see a bit better what it is we're actually going to be creating today. So like I say this is what we're going over creating today so without further ado let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So you'll also notice I'm in first person while on the third person map. Now if you want to know how to create a true first person camera I'll leave a link in the description down below to a video where I've gone over creating that system. But the first thing we want to do for this video is we want to open up our character blueprint so we can access our camera. So for me that's going to be control space to open the content browser then content, third person, blueprints, BP, third person character. In here we're going to go straight to the viewport and mess about with the camera that you can see here. And with the camera selected, in the top right details we're going to search for post processing and we want to change these post processing values which we have here. Now an easy way to be able to see the changes you're making in real time is to just minimize this slightly so you can still see it like this. Then we want to drag in our character into the level like this and if you have the character still selected in the level you can get a preview of the camera in the bottom right here so what the player is going to be seeing through their camera and I find this very useful. So now back in our character blueprint if we were to change something we'll see the values changing down here so we can get a preview of how we want it to look. So I'm only really going to be changing two things because again it's nice and simple. So what I'm going to be doing is in the post process I'm going to go to color grading then we have temperature here let me just maximize this to show you it we have temperature we want to tick temperature type and tick temp. Now the temperature type we're going to change to color temperature so by default it would probably be white balance we want it to be color temperature and the temperature here by default will be 6500 we want to change this. Now the temperature here this is in Kelvin as that is what lighting and color is um, the units of it are so that's what it's in it's in Kelvin so I want it to be a nice yellow color so for me I found 3700 is a good color and you'll notice it changed down here like so. I believe the yellow Kelvin values are between 2000 and 4000 I think and obviously you can fade between them by just changing the value so if I to change this to 8000 you'll notice it goes a bit more blue if I change it to 1000 it goes really red so obviously you can see that's what it is so again for me I think 3700 is going to be a nice yellowy color that I want. Then we're going to close the temperature and the color grading and I then want to change film grain. So I'm going to maximize this again, we've got film grain. The only thing I'm going to do is add on the film grain intensity and change it to the value I want. So by default it will be 0, if we change it to 1 you see it looks a bit like this. I'm going to change it to 0.7 so it's not all the way there but there's also some there as well, more than there is not. So and again those are the only two things I'm going to be changing as that's all I think I need to create the backrooms effect which I personally want. But you can obviously change all of these about to make it perfect and customized for you. So you can add in more color grading if you want. You can really go into the details of that there. You can also change the lens. So if you want maybe a vignette, I believe you can do. In fact, if we just search for vignettes, here we go. We have advanced vignette size. We can add a vignette on and change the vignette intensity as well. Obviously, you can change this to what you want. So you maybe want that as well. As you might think that looks a little bit better for you. It's obviously just personal preference. So just go through the different post process settings on your camera changing it to look how you want and that is how you can achieve the backroom screen effect in Unreal Engine 5 again very customizable. So let me just minimize this and hit play to again show you what we've got. So if I go in you'll notice this is now what it looks like. We've got a nice yellow screen with a bit of grain on there and also a bit of a vignette around the side as well if that's what you wanted to go for. And this effect also works for pretty much anything you want, it doesn't just have to be for backrooms. This also kind of looks a bit old school style, so maybe an old western film kind of thing or anything you want and again it doesn't have to be yellow and grainy. You could really customize this to look however you want. So this is also just a video on general post-processing settings for the Unreal Engine 5 camera. 
So I think this would be it for this video which we've done everything we want to do today. We set up a very basic post-processing on our camera in order to get an effect which we want and for me that was a backrooms very simple basic screen effect as a lot of people seem to be wanting stuff like that now. So thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.